on this episode of Party Mamas. Star caterer Andrea wants to electrify Long Island with a launch party to celebrate a new business venture with club owner Randy. Girls! And when South Shore swagger... The costumes are perfect! Randy, they're really not. It's scaring me right now. ...clashes with Gold Coast glamour... This is just like one little glimpse. Where oh. am I? Everyone loses their appetite. <laughs> Long Island, we have a problem. My name is Andrea, and I am throwing the biggest and best business launch party that Long Island has ever seen. You're going to see gorgeous bottle service girls, fabulous food presentations, really elegant hors d'oeuvres, new and innovative food stations. This party is so important to me. It has to be perfect. own a catering company called Elegant Affairs. Hi, everyone. And I cater all of the parties that you read about in the Hamptons and Manhattan and Long Island. We do everything that's necessary to make a party fabulous. Find the venue, get the musicians, get the floral design, cook the food. Those are really good. You name it. I've done events for Mariah Carey, Kevin Spacey, P. Diddy, Russell Simmons, Jimmy Fallon, just to name a few. I'm in the process of taking Elegant Affairs to the next level, and that's why I'm partnering with Sugar, the hottest nightclub in Long Island. It is currently only a nightclub, but I'm going to bring Sugar to a whole new level by offering the space as a venue for great events and parties. I want to create something that people just haven't seen before. My staff is comprised of a colorful group of people, for sure. Wow, that's so cool, oh my god. Like it? Delicious. Amanda, I want to go over that entire list that we have. My name's Amanda. I'm Andrea's right-hand girl. Oh, the cones for I Thursday's think, party? I'm getting them. I'm getting them. Amanda is an excellent worker, but sometimes she's a little timid. But I'm always trying to make her step up to the plate. The photos from Hempstead House? What's No, he still hasn't given them to Every week. There's a new client, new parties, new craziness going on. Someone's gonna pick up those specialty linens because I think they're custom. Um, can you just call her? I now? called a million times. Being a control freak in my business is not a bad thing. It's all about the details. Details, details, details. Hi, Amanda, it's Andrea. Working at Elegant Affairs is insanity at all times. There's never a dull moment. David? for Russell Simmons' party called, their guest count just doubled. What? Yeah. I'm actually scared of how many people are going to come to this thing tonight. I'm a little bit overwhelmed. I like to take complete control over every event that I do. He's like, well, just make some pasta and we'll put it in a shaving dish. I'm like, uh, no, we don't, no, we don't do, do shaving, shaving dishes. dishes. It's gonna, it's ridiculous. Just because they're famous, they think that they can get away with this crap. She's the best person ever, but she can be a bitch. <laughs> I am not a bitch. You're only as good as your last party. And that's why I'm partnering with Randy Nerod. Randy has a big personality, but even a bigger Rolodex of amazing high-end clients. And Randy is the co-owner of Sugar. He put tons of money into it. So we're having a celebratory party where all my VIP clients and all of his are coming together for one big celebration. I'm so impressed with Andrea. She's the best at what she does in business. But Randy is a bit of a handful. I'm a lot of fun. Let the fun begin. With only six weeks to go before the event, Andrea meets Randy for a lunch meeting and party plans top the menu. How are you? Even though we're completely opposite, and he's definitely a little rough around the edges. Hey, cheese ball. For some reason, when we're together, it just works. I give them the little zhuzh that he needs, and he always keeps me in check. 
We're putting a lot of time, money, and effort into this merger, and it's really important that this party is going to rock. The goal is that they're going to think, oh my God, having a birthday party, I want to use sugar. Oh my God, having a sweet 16, I want to have it at sugar. I love the idea. Obviously, I have a few concerns. The fact that me and you have a very different way of throwing parties. You know, my clientele at Sugar, my VIPs, and your clientele are very different. Yeah, but your 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 guys are like you know from Queens. They're like meatball Guido types. Guidos go out to clubs. They wear the big gold jewelry and the shirts all buttoned down with the chest hair out. Ugh. Not that what you're doing at Sugar is bad. I just want to bring it up a level. I mean, that's why we're going into business together. That's why you want me in your world, Randy. Hello. Uh, Keep your South Shore Guido meatballs away from this party. One last concern I have, you know, we have Brian. Brian, Randy's co-owner, I just can't stand. Brian is very much against us joining forces and becoming more of a catering hall than a nightclub. He can make this party either really good or be really difficult. I mean, I'm happy to work with Brian, but he has to understand we're going to change sugar and we're going to make amazing parties there. So he has to be on board with it. I just want to make sure that they're going to play nice together. Can you do that? <laughs> I will do my best. Uh, I'm ready to go. I'll, you know, we'll put up the money and we'll make this the sickest party we've ever had. Randy's like really concerned that I am not going to get along with Brian Rosenberg. I don't know why he thinks that. It's crazy. Speaking of crazy, it's a few days later and Andrea makes an unscheduled visit to Sugar with Amanda and Chef Scott early in the morning, hoping to avoid Brian. So this is a space. I'm very excited. I want to do a walkthrough with you and show you where I want everything set up for the party. We're putting the crudite guy there. We're putting the hot rock station there, the pasta there, the bistro tables in the middle, right? Yep, exactly. This hot rock station, Scott, it really has to be a big visual wow. I really want to impress everybody. Okay. I want that crudite guy to be bow, pop, like right in their faces. We, are, we have it under control. My big concern right now is the kitchen. Brian will freak out if Andrea is there. Hi. Hello. Hi, I'm Andrea. How are you? I'm Chef Luca. I'm Randy's new partner. I need to make sure that all the food that comes out of this kitchen is to my specs. What is she thinking? These are our crab cakes, one of our signature dishes here at Sugar. Andrea, put down the crab cake. Would you seriously serve this as a past hors d'oeuvre? This is like at least two, three bites. The crab cakes? Oh my god, they were this big. When we do our hors d'oeuvres, everything is bite-sized, it's petite, it's beautiful, it's elegant. Maybe your customers are used to doing this, but my customers are wearing expensive clothes, expensive shoes, expensive makeup. What are you doing here? Where did he come from? I got this. Thanks. Listen to me. This is a Friday night. I got a thousand people. You're in my kitchen, and we have work to do. But it's not to my Andrea, specs. this isn't it's your order. When I look out those doors, do I see Andrea's crowd, or do I see Brian's crowd? Watching this fight is like two cats in an alleyway. You can't get in the middle, and you can't split them up. Sugar has got to be the best. Hors d'oeuvres need to be bite-sized. They need to be elegant. This isn't your party. It doesn't Start matter. You know what? I'm going to be in charge of the whole kitchen soon. It doesn't matter. Wrong time, wrong place. I was 6'4 when the day started. I understand. Now it has Appreciate to be more about my style. You need it like a hole in the head. Okay. Thank you. You I'm know done. what? Fine. Yep. Talk to the hand. Fine, real professional, real professional. We're dead. I can't work like this, Randy. Brian won't back down, and I'm not backing down either. You need to get your ass here now. I'm done. I am out. Fabulous foodie Andrea is throwing an event to celebrate a new business venture with Long Island club owner Randy. What are you doing here? But when co-owner Brian stakes his territory... When I look out those doors, do I see Andrea's crowd or do I see Brian's crowd? This culinary adventure turns into a kitchen nightmare. Talk to the hand, fine. Real professional. Real professional! Brian won't back down, and I'm not backing down either. I can't work like this, Randy. I get the call from Andrea, and she's freaking out on the phone. You need to get your ass here now. And I'm like, no, not now. 
the last thing I need to do is deal with this. Sugar could now be the sickest and best nightclub slash caterers. Anyone in Long Island knows Sugar because of what he's done here. And you are the best caterer on Long Island. I, and I don't know what's going on. Why can't we get on the same page? Guys, enough of the bull Let's get back to business. Listen, I'm not a total bitch. I swear I'm not. I'm just very passionate about, about what I do. It's just my passion, so I apologize if I... I accept it. In the end, I do know how talented she is, and I know she's important for our business. To making love to money. So thank you. <laughs> I'm going to do my best, as I promised, to, uh, to play nice. Excuse me, everyone. I just wanted to say that I'm sorry. I'm not a bitch. How do you say sorry in Spanish? Lo siento. Lo siento, lo siento, lo siento. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. With the battle for Kitchen Stadium done and a ceasefire in place, Andrea sets her sights on giving Sugar a makeover. So she calls in Long Island's premier event designer to help. I'm Richard Blau and I'm the Chief Imagination Officer at the Shazam Event Group. Brandy and I are going to be merging together at Sugar and I'm doing this party with all of my VIPs, his VIPs. I want to just make it like sexy, clubby. I just want to have the wow factor. Maybe candles or adorn it with flowers. Or even maybe a human kind of a display with a live talent. Yes, 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 we love that. And I think we can definitely embrace that whole candy, sugar rush, sugalicious mm -hmm. vibe. We love that. Almost like a Willy Wonka meets Lady Gaga. Yes, exactly. that's it. Willy Wonka meets exactly. Lady Gaga. Boom, bow, right. pop. That's exactly. it, you got right. it. Richard is definitely on the same page with me. It's going to be the bomb. All right. Richard. Well, Andrea, you might want to invest in a bomb shelter. It's a week later, and Richard has invited Andrea to Shazam to reveal his concept for Sugar's sassy makeover. But Randy's not convinced Sugar even needs one. Randy, I really want to get you involved in the process here. I don't really know what they do here. I know. And I don't know why we need this. The club speaks for itself. It has the best vibe, the best sound, the best looking people. Listen, party, I need you to have an open mind. Yeah. I don't need to add anything else. I promise it's not going to be mitzvah. I know you don't want mitzvah, no. so you just have to trust me, yeah. okay? All right. So it's I won't, not going to be mitzvah. I won't embarrass you. I'm willing to hear what they got. Hi. Hey, how, how are, are you? How are you? Great. Who is this guy? Randy, we have to make sugar look different than it normally looks. This is just like one little glimpse. We can do like a whole Asian feel. And we bring in black and white napkins and we bring in chopsticks. No, no. Way. Randy, you have to open up your mind a no little bit. Way. You have to be creative. Nothing I see in this room fits our theme. I'm just giving you a concept. Think about it. Where you? am I? He was just. Oh my god, I don't like it. Oh my god, I don't like it. Oh my god, I don't like it. This no, Randy, is not what fits our theme. Randy, I'm not the same. Have exact you lost talent. reality? Dude, you're a businessman. You don't have a creative mind. You can't do see this me. with other parties, but this is not happening. Oh, brother. You have to let me do what I do. Trust me. Yeah, don't get overwhelmed by what you see here. There's a lot of things going on. It's going to be an amazing event, sugar style. Look, Andrea, as long as it's not an Asian theme and I don't have umbrellas no hanging umbrellas. from the ceiling, no no black and white Asian napkins. No black and white Asian napkins, okay? And I might be able to deal. We're going to make it great. Right. It's going to be an awesome night. We'll see. That didn't go so well. <sighs> With Richard left to dial it back, Randy gets set to drop a few bombshells of his own to show Andrea what his idea of a party looks like. Randy calls me to his house, and he says, I have an idea. Immediately, I'm nervous. I brought you here today because since you are the queen of catering and we're merging, and this is all about food and catering and parties, I saw this sexy uniform, and I thought it would be perfect for our VIP hostesses. And you want the girls to wear these outfits the day of the party? Yes, and I have the girls actually here. I'm dreading what I'm about to see. Girls, come on out. This can't be good. Are you kidding? Look how hot they look. Seriously? Not happening. You're scaring me right now. I want them to look sophisticated. Not like they came out of a five and dime store. I want class, 
not ass. Star caterer Andrea has teamed up with Randy to throw a VIP event at his nightclub, Sugar. But when Randy serves up sweets, girls, things quickly turn sour instead. You're scaring me right now. Is this really your sense of style? Are you kidding? Look how hot they look. So when the girls walk out of the room, I'm like, they nailed it. So I thought I, I hit the jackpot. I mean, besides the button adjustment we'll make right here, the costumes are perfect. Randy, they're really not, okay? You are bringing me into sugar to take it from here to here. I want them to look sophisticated, not like they came out of a five and dime store. I want class, not ass. Sorry. We need to take this outside, literally. These girls, they look like freaking hoochie mama sluts. I mean, come on. My clientele and my customer would really appreciate it. Yeah, South Shore, but you're going it. for North Shore, Randy. That's the whole point. That's why I'm in your life, because you want me to bring it up a level. So Randy and I have a meeting of the minds, and he agrees to let me do what I do best. So I am going to design a uniform that makes you guys look gorgeous. And now your punishment for this debacle is that you have to wear this the night of, since you love it so much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not scared of that. <laughs> All right, you guys win. Wear whatever the freak you want. Can't spell class without a little ass. Maybe taking Andrea on a sexy shopping spree will help Randy get their friendship back on track. Hey, girls. Hi. So I brought my friend here, Andrea. There's definitely a bit of tension between me and Andrea. I don't want any friction, so I'm taking a shopping. Randy wants to take me shopping, and I never turn down some retail therapy. Andrea, although she is amazing in every other way, her weak point is she is not the most hippest in style. You know, she dresses like, you know, she's 60, and she's certainly 60. not. Tom, all right, all right, all right. you are going to look like the movie star that you are. Let's rock. Let's go. Right, I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> okay. Okay. I like this black dress. It's kind of flowy, it's fun, but it's still sophisticated. The first dress is all right, but I just thought that we could do better. Guys, I never show this much flesh, ever. That is hot. Uh-uh. I can't dress that way. It was like, hello, boobalicious. Mmm, I love it. I feel like one of the hoochie mama girls that you work with, you know? It's not my thing, really. Andrea is going to look hot at that party no matter what she wears. She is going to look <laughs> like a movie star because she is one. Because she is one. Randy and I work out our problems. So I have my party dress picked out and I'm ready to knock them dead. My worries are gone completely. Thanks for coming. Everything is fine. It's party day. And while Andrea's crew preps sugar, Andrea oversees a pretty sweet living food installation. There's a million things to do. I have to make sure that all the tables and chairs are there. All the hors d'oeuvre platters are set. The presentation is fabulous. Everything is happening. It's all happening at once. So we're gonna put the vegetables all in here, but okay. he's gonna hand them to the people. I think that's gonna be kind of more fun when the when the wind. Hey, what do you okay. No. Okay. Just go, just go, just go, just go. Just what, go. Happened? what happened? He's Ooh. having much reaction. Oh. Feelings. He, oh my God. Oh. Just go, just go, just go. Amanda, call 911. What's happening with that guy? And do we have a backup plan? That's no, my next question. No, we don't. Question. I know. This is a freaking nightmare. If this doesn't happen, I am totally screwed. It's party day, and only hours before guests arrive. What happened? A last minute allergic reaction sends everyone into Amanda? shock. Oh my god. What's happening with that guy? And do we have a backup plan? That's no, my next we don't. question. I know. We have like three hours, tops. This is a freaking nightmare. If this guy's not okay, the whole entrance of the party is going to be ruined. Hey. hey, what happened? 
Yeah. He had a bit of an allergic reaction to the spray, but oh my he's doing okay now. God, yeah. we were like freaking out. We were so worried. I gave him an antihistamine. He's good. So then the show must yeah. go on. So you, you're okay to perform? You're yeah. good? Rock and roll. Thank God the antihistamine kicked in. Crudite guy is going to be just fine. Problem solved. We don't have to worry now, right, now, Amanda? I'm, I'm texting everyone. So That's I'm right thrilled to death. Party goes on. Guys. Look at you. Fabulosity. Clean up very nice. I picked it. And guys, I have a really big surprise for you, girls. Oh. Here are the sugar mamas. Wow, okay. All I right. Like it. Now, this is hot, sophisticated, stylish. It's not the chefs that I imagined, but I'm completely satisfied. So let's group it in. Group it in. All right, ready? Sugar right, on three. Three. Sugar! The party is off the hook. So successful. Richard did a fabulous job. Richard definitely redeemed himself. What he brought tonight was exactly what I was looking for. Crudite Man, huge hit. Crudite Man is amazing. <laughs> Everybody is loving the food. Food is phenomenal. We needed the culinary catering of Andrea to give it that wow, and I feel like this party was wow. Mwah, delish. The VIP hostesses looked outrageous. I mean, the fact that they had sugar on their shirts was awesome. They're hot, they're sophisticated, they're perfect. I love them, and they look gorgeous. This is definitely the hottest party of the season. I have to say, Andrea has taken sugar to another level, and I don't think I've ever seen it look this good. I am so excited about working with Randy. I think our future is super bright. delicious.